three, four. All right, good, 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 good. I just wanted to start. Guys, I have really exciting news, and I realized I can't wait until the end of the song to share it with you. Yeah. All right, so this is crazy, crazy exciting. So, uh, you might have noticed this past winter, uh, Sochi, Russia hosted the Winter Olympics. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was kind of fun. There was, you know, but uh, they didn't make nearly as much money as they hoped. In fact, they lost money. So Bob Costas, being uh, really close to St. Louis, uh, came to me and said that NBC wants to host a new Olympics and try to really make back the money that they lost. Makes sense. It does make sense. And that they are going to switch it up because those athletes have already performed. They're not going to come do it anymore. They want ACA athletes. What? Oh! this, but uh, um, Adam and Jamie uh, and I have been researching your uh, nations of origin. So you guys are going to be placed in those countries. You're going to compete as those countries in the 2014 Summer Aka Olympics. <laughs> yeah. what, what, what? Here's the deal. Okay? You're not singing. This is sports. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. So you're going to get two weeks to train, okay? And at the end of those two weeks, we'll have the opening ceremonies, we'll have a huge fireworks display, and then we'll start having uh, events where you guys will compete against each other. Are you guys ready? Yes! Yeah. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Get out of here! Here we have Russia, looking excellent in their red. For their training, it appears that they like to yell and hold garden implements. We'll see how that translates to the competition. This is obviously Mexico, and their training, oh, that's wonderful, it's synchronized swimming. Excellent, we'll see how that works. Here we have Great Britain, working lovely with their croquet. Their training appears to involve a tea party, and one of them is reciting, yes, she's reciting One Direction lyrics. The story of my life, I give her hope. I spend her love until she's broken inside. The story of my life. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Here we have Australia. They evidently brought a koala kangaroo. They're training. Yes, they, they train by playing with dogs. Of course, it might be a dingo. I'm not sure. Here comes India. Their traditional garb. And they, well, that's a coincidence. They also are training by synchronized swimming. And now walking onto the track is Djibouti. Looking very stoic. Oh, here's their training. They are getting ready. Oh, wait a second. One of these kids is not like the other. Here we have the lovely Swedish Hawk Olympics team. They look very happy to be here. In their training, they, uh, they're pulling a I guess they're training for the luge. I wonder if they're aware this is the, the Summer Rock Olympics. We'll, we'll see how that translates. Here's Team Canada. And they look very plaid. Wait a second. This doesn't appear to be a coincidence anymore. Also synchronized swimming. Hmm. Hold up. And here we have America. They are doing a selfie. They look very confident, uh, if not athletic. Well, here, they're definitely watching TV and eating fast food. Truly American. Here is the ceremonial lighting of the Olympic torch. Always an exciting moment. Always inspirational. Oh, look at their faces. Just soaking it all in. They can't wait to compete. It's just going to be a magical Oc Olympics this year.
excited to have Russia here with us um, here at the Ock Olympics. I was wondering, um, what do you guys think your overall strategy is uh, to compete in these Ock Olympics? Well, you see, we think we come to America, so we watch classic America movies like Air Bud. We watch uh, Field of Dreams. Uh, we watch that. We take from it. We come and we dance. Oh, okay. So you're really excited about the dance competition? Yes, yes. We're very good at dance. Very good at dance. Ladies, uh, anything you have to add about that? We are good and we are serious. And we will dominate. Oh, you're going to dominate. Excellent. Well, I'm really excited about your confidence. Look forward to seeing how you guys uh, compete against the other countries in this year's Oc Olympics. All right. Thanks very much for coming. Our first country competing in the dance competition is Russia. And now we have India dancing. Next up, Sweden. Here we have Djibouti. And finally, here are the Americans coming to do their dance. Okay, welcome to America. Uh, that was pleasant. Um, you guys are the hosts of this year's Oc Olympics. Uh, just wanted to know, what do you think are some of your strengths and uh, weaknesses at the end of this? I mean, we are America. We don't have any <coughs> weaknesses. Okay, strong, confident words from America. Um, what about your training? Uh, all the other countries seem to be doing things to train for the Olympics. Um, you guys appear to be watching TV and uh, uh, eating fast food. What are your uh, thoughts on that? That is practice. What? We don't need practice. Wait, talking about practice? Talk about practice. Talk about practice? Uh, practice? Okay, so the Americans are confident, no weaknesses, and don't, uh, don't believe in practice. Well, we'll see how well you guys do in the competition. Thanks very much for coming. No, you're yeah. welcome. Here we have the Summer Oc Olympics version of the Biathlon. Excited to have Australia here. Uh, you guys have um, a lot of potential in this uh, Oc Olympics, and uh, one thing though that is a little concerning—I don't know if you've heard—there have been some accusations of juicing. Like juicing? No idea. No, no, we don't. No, yeah, we've been juicing. Juicing. No, we don't. Yeah, we've never no. done. Well, well, even his juicing. Okay, so you're not doing anything to try and give yourselves an no, unfair so. advantage. No, so never no. ever juice. Okay. Okay. We Australians are honest people. You're honest. Okay. That's good to know. The only, only thing is, here at NBC, we happen to have some footage, uh, some secret footage, actually, of uh, the incident in question. So I'd like you guys to watch this along with all of our viewers, um, and then uh, you can give me your thoughts. So uh, 
check out this footage of you guys juicing. Banana, banana juice is good for you. Yes. Oh, crikey. Crikey. Oh, yes. Crikey, it's so good for you. The yam. It's, it's a mashed yam. All right. Perfect. We're good, lads. All right. gentlemen I know uh, it's hard to watch that um, obviously there's clear evidence of you guys juicing uh, what do you have to say for yourselves what can I say I like apples bananas mate I, I really like me some potatoes okay I guess uh, that's gonna have to be mate, enough mate but... you're losing the curl oh I got you oh, crock crock all right all right we're good we're good don't you worry don't you worry here we go here we go Thanks, mate. It's all right. It's all right. You're we got it. You're right. All right. So you guys drink juice and curl each other's hair, and that's how you're going to win the competition. Yeah. That's exactly how you're going to win. Truly intimidating from the Australian. Thank you guys very much. Uh, have a very good day. Thank you. Good, good luck in the competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, welcome to Great Britain. We're so excited to have you in the Oc Olympics this year. Uh, we appreciate the travel you guys made. Um, Thank you. What I wanted to know is, uh, what kind of events are you guys excited about uh, leading up to this? Uh, well, Mr. Mr. Doon, am I pronouncing that correctly? Perfect, Mr. Fine. Mr. Doon. Um, we're very excited about the race, mm -hmm. right, about the, the 100 meter dash. Okay. We've trained very hard for it, and we are very excited to be running. Uh, we think we're going to run very fast. We've, we've never lost um, a race, a running race on foot against. Yeah anyone from our country, and we assume that we're the fastest country in the world, because we are, you know, Great Britain. Excellent. All right, well, I, I'm really excited. We've got to, the to great in Great Britain. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, you surely, you surely do. Oh, that is good. Yes. Okay, well, we'll look forward to see how you guys do in that. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, Great Britain. Obviously, this is a little bit different than the last time we spoke. Um, is it different? Is it? Seems like it. You guys just appear dejected, demoralized. Um, you really? Can you tell me about that that race with uh, Djibouti? How do you how do you guys feel about that? I, I think that it would be best to treat this like America, and not talk about it. Okay. All right. So My onwards. final comment would be. Djibouti may have kicked our booties, but they'll never kick our hearts. Inspirational words. Um, yeah, way to go. Keep, keep your heads held up high. Where were you during, during the race? No comment. Okay, alright, well good luck in the rest of the Yacht Olympics, uh, Great Britain. Here we have the eating contest, America stuck in their face. England, using forks and knives. Djibouti appears to be a little confused at American cuisine. Mm -hmm. This tastes nothing like hyena. Nothing. Oh. Djibouti, welcome. Uh, I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, uh, let's talk about some of the events that you've participated in so far. Uh, Dennis, uh, can you speak to the eating contest? Oh, yes, the, the eating contest was very, very new for me because I did not know what, um, what, what castle was. I did not know it was going to be that small. It's a piece of lamb that's very, very big. Awesome. That makes sense. No, I understand. Yeah. Now, ladies, uh, what about in that sprint against Great Britain? You guys ran so fast. Um, can you tell me what motivated you? Well, um, back in our country, our mother, she lost her legs in the heat. And we come here because we want to run for her. She is our motivation, and we represent our mother when we run this race. That is inspirational. Thank you so much. Uh, is there, um, I noticed there are some people missing from your country. Hey, hey, guys. Sorry, I'm late. I just, uh, let me just. What, what, what would you like? Why, 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 why are you late? Why are you late? 
Okay, uh, Robbie, I see your fellow uh, Djiboutians are no longer here, but I guess I can ask you about some of the events uh, that you felt most confident in. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about that? Well, you know, uh, the dance competition, that's, that's, my, that's my jam. I've been dancing ever since about five weeks ago, and I think I've excelled pretty far. My grandma and I, we dance daily. Thanks very much, Robbie. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Mexico versus America in basketball. Welcome to the closing ceremonies of the first annual Webster Groves Aka Olympics. I unfortunately can't find the trophies. Um, it appears that uh, one of the countries may have gone off with them. Can you guys, are there any countries not represented here? Sears! Classic Sears. All right, well, Sears have stolen the uh, um, trophies, but the good news is I've got two consolation prizes. First, I've got uh, Webster Groves acapella jackets, if you look behind you. And you guys get to perform Friday night in front of hundreds of people at the Webster Groves Acapella Extravaganza. So, congratulations, head on out. <laughs>